I don't know if you've ever accidentally been on stage in front of 15,000 people before, but it is intense. So I was on tour with this band called Disturbed, and we were in Kansas City. And by the way, like those dudes were all pretty chill. Like the lead singer David was pretty nice, even though he had his dog Snoodles that I fucking hated. Fuck Snoodles. Snoodles is dead now. But we're in Kansas City, and we're there for a music festival, and Disturbed's got to go on stage in like five minutes. And the stage manager comes back and says, y'all ready to rock? And David looks at him and says, unfortunately, we're going to have to push it back. And the stage manager's like, what? Why? And he's like, because the bassist is having sex. And the stage manager was like, well, tell him to stop. And David was like, you don't understand. You can't just tell a volcano not to erupt. So the stage manager was like, well, somebody's got to get out there and do something because they're already upset, like, out in the crowd. Like, I didn't buy no porta-potties, and they're already on edge. And, like, you don't understand. Like, this is Kansas City. They will throw their turds at you. I was like, damn, homie. And that's why I messed up, dog. Like, I shouldn't have fucking said anything because David looks over at me and goes, what about you? I was like, what about me? He was like, go out there and stall. I was like what like stall with what he was like tell him your secret garlic fry recipe i was like are you out of your mind i get out there i tell them dudes like what my secret garlic fry recipe is what are you gonna pay me for dog it's not gonna be a secret anymore he was like yeah you got a point he's like what about jokes do you know any jokes i was like like one he's like go out there and tell it i was like all right so i get out there Homie, I'm standing out there. I'm like holding the microphone. I am shaking. Like I've never been in front of people before in my life. I'm freaking out. Like I'm having a, a, a panic attack. I was just like, just breathe, homie. Like you got this. I looked them out into the audience. Everybody's staring at me, wondering what's going to happen. I was just like, what do you call a fish with no eye? And they went fucking nuts, homie. They went crazy. People cheering, yelling, clapping for me. That's when I took this pic. It was like insane. Ladies was pulling their titties out. I saw a penis. I was like, this is it, dog. Like, this is what it feels like to be a rock star. And I'm just sitting there soaking it up. And I'm just like, I gotta say something else. And, the, like, the cheers start slowing down, and the, the, the titties went away, and, the, like, the penis disappeared. I was just like, say something, homie. Like, come on, squeezy. Like, say something. And I'm just sitting there. And then the booze started. Like, I'm just sitting there in silence, and people saw it. The cheers had turned to booze, and I'm just like, shit. And I dropped the microphone, and I walked off stage, dog. And I was just like, damn. And Dave was like, not so easy, is it? I was like... How the fuck do y'all do that shit? And he was just like, well, you know, it helps to have more than eight seconds of material. I was like, damn, that's a good point, homie. But for a second there, like, it felt amazing. He was like, yeah, you feel like a god, don't you? I was like, hell yeah, dog. Like, I saw titties. <laughs> I saw a penis. He was like, was the dude with the penis wearing a Def Leppard shirt? I was like, what? Yeah. He was like, oh, that's Lance. He does that at every show. I want to be straight up honest, dog. That broke me. Like, I, <laughs> I thought this dude was pulling his hog out for me. And then I find out, like, he's doing this for everybody at every show. Like, it crushed me, homie. Like, it was the biggest ego deflation ever. Like, for the next, like, six straight nights, homie, all I could think about was Lance's penis every night before I went to sleep. And I was just sitting there, but, like, here's the thing, dog. Sometimes life gives you lessons that you don't expect from places that you never would have imagined. Because in, in the beginning, yeah, homie, it hurt like hell. But here's the thing, homie. It was the best thing that could have happened for me. Because if Lance was pulling his hog out just for me, my ego would have gotten so big. I was already going up on stage and telling jokes in front of these people. Homie, I would have gotten out of control. But yeah, even though it hurt in the beginning, it turns out... The more I thought about it, the more I realized that kept me humble, homie. The fact that Lance was dropping his pants for everybody, that's what kept me humble. That's what kept me grounded.